Hi guys! So for those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know this week was Mike and I's wedding anniversary. We've been married for four years and together almost eight, so I wanted to do something really special. I made this DIY called 52 Reasons I Love You. You may have seen it before. It's a little book made out of a deck of playing cards, and today I'm going to show you how I made mine. I'm Brooke, and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. So here's what you're gonna to need to get started. A deck of playing cards, some paper or cardstock, some binder rings, glue, a paper cutter, or if you don't have one of these, a pair of scissors, a hole punch or crocodile. I love the crocodile because it allows you to get through like a third of the deck of playing cards in one punch. Some embellishments to decorate the front, and last but not least, your 52 reasons. Okay, so the first step is to take your deck of playing cards and your hole punch or crocodile, I love saying that word, <laughs> and punch two holes through the entire deck of cards. I like to use a clip to hold all the cards in place. Once you're done, we're gonna put in the binder rings. I actually spray painted mine gold because I thought it would give it a cool vintage look. And this is what it should look like. For the front, I actually glued the two jokers together to make a cover page, and then the rest of the deck is just the cards face up. Next, we're gonna make the cards to write our reasons on. Now, there are templates for this online, and I've linked one down below, but I think it's really nice to write them by hand, and it just makes it a little more personal. I've chosen some gold card stock that I really like, and we're just gonna cut out the cards on this paper cutter. If you don't have one of these, you can use scissors. And I just made one template. The dimensions to this are in the description below. And I'm just gonna lay it on here and make a cut. I really like using a paper cutter because you can do about 10 cards at a time. So once you have all your cards cut out, you're ready to start writing your reasons down. And I have mine already written out on a notepad here and I'm just gonna transfer them to the cards. Kind of a funny story, Mike did a very similar thing for me on our one year anniversary of dating. He handed me this just clump of papers titled 365 Reasons I Love You. By far the most sweet romantic thing a guy had ever done for me, but in my head I was expecting the last reason was gonna be because I wanna marry you, that he was gonna propose to me. We had kind of talked about it, I just felt like it was coming. So when I get to the end of the list and the last reason is because we both like chocolate hazelnut pink berry, I was literally devastated. I was so upset and long story short, it all worked out in the end. We got engaged a very short time after. I do have a feeling when I give him this list, he's gonna tell me I owe him 313 reasons. <laughs> now we are ready to glue our cards in our book. So this is really easy. You're just gonna take a glue stick, pick which ones you want to go first. This makes me feel like I'm in kindergarten again. And yes, I know my handwriting is terrible, but I still think it's a more personal touch to have them handwritten than printed out. Next, we're ready to decorate the cover. I'm just gonna use another card and put it right on the front here. And then I found these cute little embellishments. This is a little Cupid. And then I just wrote with a gold Sharpie, 52 reasons, I love you. And I'm gonna put a couple little jewels on there. Most of these embellishments have adhesive on the back, but on the larger ones, I'm just gonna put a little bit of craft glue. This looks really sweet and romantic. This is super cute. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was such a fun DIY to make and really meaningful. I hope you'll give it a try for one of your loved ones. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Do you want to help mommy make a present for dad? Uh oh. <laughs> Can you say dada? Dada. Oh, good job. Can you say mama? Mama. Oh, that's a good enough anniversary present Bye -bye. in my book. <laughs>